Australians lose billions of dollars to gambling each year. But for Melbourne man Paul, his addiction cost him more than just money. I lost basically my teen years and my 20s, up until I was almost 30. He lost more than $2 million, including his house. I basically transitioned that mortgage money into a betting account without any questions or things like that. The federal government's new national self-exclusion register promises to help. What BetStop means is that with a single touch, an individual will be able to self-exclude themselves from all forms of online wagering. A person could exclude themselves from three months to a lifetime. They will not be able to open an account, place a bet, and it will be prohibited to market to them directly. Current self-exclusion registers have been criticised as ineffective. At the moment, uh, a person can sign up and there's 72 hours before their identity is verified. Which is why the government is also introducing mandatory pre-verification, forcing wagering service providers to verify someone's identity when creating an account and before they can place a bet. Anti-gambling groups have welcomed both bet stop and mandatory pre-verification, but so has the gambling industry. For uh, Responsible Wagering Australia and our members, a safe punting environment is the best one. Companies failing to comply could pay penalties up to $230,000 a day. Our focus is on avoiding uh, those penalties and fines uh, as much as is possible. They can't, however, avoid paying a new levy to fund the $40 million register, regulated by the Australian Communications and Media Authority. I think it would have made a difference because it would have been an intervention tool to me to stop and take a minute to think. Something Paul hopes will spare others the struggles he faced. Nabil El-Nashar, ABC News, Canberra.